the slumping economy, more and more people are training to become truckers. You know, for years, if you were qualified to drive one of those big rigs, that meant you had your choice of jobs. But that's not the case anymore. Foxton News reporter Matt Barentine has that story. Students in Bishop State's truck driving program have had it good for a long time. Eight weeks of training prepared them for nearly unlimited, good-paying jobs. But as the economy suffered, the outlook for truckers has changed. It has gotten a little bit tougher for them to get a job because of a lot of the cutbacks. Brad Walls has been teaching truckers for more than 20 years. He's seen the students diversify and change, but never more so than now. His classes are packed with students like Philip Ties. He's been unemployed, and he's turned to trucking for a secure career. Trying to look for a job, but how the coming was, there wasn't a job offer. And then there's Rhonda Smith. She's hoping becoming a trucker will pay off with a good job. I have not been really looking into the job market. Right now, I've been focused on these last few days of class, trying to get this out the way. What she'll find is a tighter job market. In the past, these students didn't even have to look. Recruiters would come right to class. The students have to go after them instead of them coming after the students where the way it used to be. Even with this new reality, Wallace says these students have a skill that will always be in demand. As long as people are buying goods at stores, trucks got to haul them. In Mobile, Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News. Well, you can find all the details for Bishop State's Truck Driving School on our website. Log on to fox10tv.com.